So what is a word template? Why would you want to use a template in Word or for that matter in any other program? Well, a template is a pre-formatted document and it not only formats a document with the margins, the correct size, the indentations, whether things are bolded or titles, headers, italicized, that kind of thing. It'll set it up for you so that you simply need to type according to the instructions in that document. This means that you don't have to spend a lot of time formatting the document. So what kind of documents might you find as templates? Well, Word actually offers you sample resumes and cover letters. So they have the document all nicely formatted and you just type your information in there. APA and MLA reports. When you go to college, your professors are going to ask you to write a paper in APA or MLA format. This gives you everything pre-formatted with all of the headings, um, the, the citations, everything is in there in the correct format. You just need to type it, type it up. There's some fun formats such as invitations and flyers and letterheads. So really, there are hundreds of templates for Microsoft applications, whether they're Word, PowerPoint, Excel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and start something for scratch, from scratch. You can actually use a template that's already been designed for that purpose. And it'll actually make your document look a little bit more professional. So now that we've talked a little bit about what templates are, let's take a look at how you can access templates. So to access templates online from Office 365, you're going to select Word. When this opens, the first thing you're going to see are all of the different types of templates that are out there. So let's say we're going to write an MLA style paper. You simply select that template and it opens up in a Word document. Now you could just go straight in here and start typing your name, um, start writing your title. I wouldn't actually recommend that initially. What I would do is copy that information and put it at the end of the file. And you might want to insert a break. Okay. Do that and then take your paragraph. So I'm going to take that and I'll go to the end of the file again and I'm going to put that information in there. Now at this point I will type over everything. It means that I've kept the formatting but if I make a mistake and I mess that formatting up I can actually go back and still copy that and paste it at the end. So that helps me keep the formatting, know how the formatting should look. And also, let's say um, this is my first section. I may want to do another section in exactly the same format. So there's my quotations. I may have multiple quotations in my paper. So if I keep that format and copy and paste it and then insert the information, I don't lose that formatting. Of course, once you've finished writing your paper and everything is in the correct format, you're just going to go up to the beginning, delete everything, and now you have a perfectly formatted paper without having to mess with margins or fonts or anything like that. You can actually get a template from Word itself. If you launch Word, this is usually the page that you see when you first launch it. Again, 
you can look down here and you can see all of the different template offerings that there are in Word. It's the same way to do it, it's the same templates, but a different way to access them. I hope that's helped you understand what a template is and how you can use it and how you can keep your formatting while you're typing the entire document.